to the main topic of the of the couple weeks, man. Let's let's go on and get to it. Um it's been going on for a couple weeks now, but the the Kwame Brown, Steven Jackson, Matt, Matt Barnes, and Gilbert. Well, we ain't gotta talk about all of it, but let's just speak on the whole whole thing. Um I've I've seen clips and I've seen the whole interviews. I've taken time to watch like everything Kwame was saying because I wanted to make sure I just wasn't watching clips and just hear him out. Because of course people only focus on just bulletin board material and stuff like that. But but I want to make sure I heard him out. And the boy making all the sense in the world, in my opinion. Like he is. He is spot on about everything that he's been saying. Uh, he's been dealing with the shit for 20 years. Um, and he's never said anything. Like, people didn't know this man could speak the well, as well as he does, um, as an intelligent conversation as he's been having with, with the world um, and getting his points across, um, using a lot of full language, four letter words in the meantime um uh, a lot of what? them what? which well which i don't i don't mind if because if people listen to the message and not the the way it's being delivered you know what i'm saying then you'll hear what he's saying um definitely using he throwing nigga around like like, <laughs> like i only seen one i only seen like, one, like only seen like one of the clips you got to go watch the whole joints kids but but you know uh, but okay. but you can get yeah but like you gotta you watch one of them. We've seen all of them. I'll tell you that much. But uh, yeah, but he but he come up with some different gems like throughout <laughs> each yeah, one. Right. Like, he gonna give you a few gems. Yeah. And and him going in on Charlemagne and going in on Stephen A. and which I have no problem with whatsoever. Like because St- Stephen A. He, he everybody that has a platform that he said anything negatively about shit blast his ass out every chance they get because he's taking every opportunity that he could to to say what he whatever he want I'm saying about men and how much money men make etc so shout out to Kwame for slapping Stephen A across his ass man like <laughs> um but yeah no nah, I mean I think it's been entertaining and I think it's been um insightful on get his views and get his stories about everything that's happened since he got drafted because the this, he let the narrative be was that he a bus. And, and if you go look at it, like not too many bus play 12, 13 years, man, like that, that make 60, $70 million. Like that. I, I, a lot of people take that. Like, <laughs> go ask a lot of them dudes, man, that only played three years. Like, would you trade places with Cormay Brown? Like, absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I just think it's, like, hats off to him, man. And and I think he's been spot on. I think he's been funny while he's doing it. Um, but, yeah. So, what are your guys' in, impressions for what on, you've seen quick, and what you've... You know, I was out the country. Hey, kids, hold on, kids. Hold on one second, kids. There's two sides of that story, though. And I don't know if you want to get into that because we can get into you know it. people personally. The other nah, side. Get into it. What do you feel about what they, because it's not Kwame talking to himself. Oh, yeah. Talking. Matt oh, yeah. Long, no, we're going to get into it. Yeah. That got me definitely. all the way lost. Let me let me just say this and then y'all got to fill me in because I was out the country. Yeah, I was yeah. out the country. So on my way to the airport, I was able to see. Um, yeah. I seen Kwame. I yeah. seen a clip of Kwame. Um, ventilating. So, uh, it stemmed from Jenny Bus and and Gilbert going on all the smoke. Mm, okay. Like they asked about a trade that was made, and Kwame feel that he was his name and being mentioned within the trade he felt was insignificant. Let me let me intervene. Okay. Kiss. So they on the all the smoke uh, podcast. Yeah, I was gonna get to it. Yeah, but I want to say all the smoke. Jenny says we when they talked about the Paul Gasol trade. Jenny said we traded for Paul Gasol and we traded three players. That was a great trade. He said three players. He said yeah, we traded Kwame, Marcus Gasol, and one other name. He said 
Oh, so you traded oh, one so for that. He said, no, it was three players. He said, he tapped him on the leg and said, yeah. nah, that's one player. This is what Gilbert it. said? No, Gil didn't no. have nothing to do no. with that. No, Gil had oh. nothing to do with that. Who said Gil that? Was Gil was just sitting there. Who said Stack it was one player? Stack said it was one Stack. Stack. Like Stack uh, said. Uh, Stack five, and Matt Barnes okay. didn't catch it. So him and Matt Barnes, he got tapped on the leg. And he said, no, one player, like, to say Kwame don't count as a player. That's the yeah. gist of the conversation. The joke was that Kwame don't count as a player. Yeah. I was gonna get to it, but thank you for chiming in. You know what I'm okay. saying? But but no, yeah. So Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, 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 you good. No, so Kwame got wind of it, and then Gilbert went on. And the thing with Gilbert wasn't really a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Him and Gilbert talked about it. They were teammates, and he know how Gilbert is, man. So I don't think it was as big of a deal for him with the Matt and the stack thing. I'm saying because he know how Gilbert is. So when the whole thing went down, like Kwame was like, fuck, enough is enough. Like y'all ain't gonna keep making me insignificant and talking about me and making me out to be this and making me out to be that 20 years after the fact. Like, 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 dude, get off my nuts basically. Like, chill. Like y'all, it is what it is now. So he he took to <laughs> he took to the world wide web. <laughs> And, and just ain't stopped since. And ain't yes. stopped since. And what kind yes. of shit is he saying though? Oh, uh, the most the funniest shit is that he's calling Matt Becky with the Becky good hair. The good hair. Yo, I think that shit is the he calling Becky with the good hair, kids. Yeah, I think that shit is the funniest Whoa. shit in the world. He calls Stack a fake Black Lives Matter gangster. I'm gonna kill you, blood confused person. All in one thing. And the thing is, the depressive part is, is that he said it three different times and had the exact same order. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that, like it was, a, like, you remember that uh, Boondocks episode, a pimp called slip back? <laughs> and it was like, yeah. called slip back. Like, it was like yeah. that type of joke. He was like a confused Black Lives Matter activist, gangster, uh, Muslim. Like, it was, I was like, okay. Like, and, yeah, and he, he was, just, he just kept going. Yeah, wow. they, he he was grow up, pull your pants up, take the rag out your pocket, get the blunt out your mouth. Like he just like just going. Like and and then so hold on, let's go. Yeah. And then from there, so he get on the war path. He knock out about four or five videos before it was like the Drake meat joint. Like he just panging out them videos before you back to even, back. Yeah, he might have been on the plane and didn't even know this shit was going down, type of shit. Like, whoa, Kwame done dropped five videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, while you was in the while you was in the bathroom, like, damn, okay. So Stack come back on the peaceful thing, but here's the thing is Stack's peaceful joint has barbs in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey big fella, I don't want no smoke, man. It's all good. Da da da. We, you know, we're not gonna give you no attention because you already blew the attention when we got picture number one overall, and you couldn't handle that. So blah. And then it was just like, oh, okay, that wasn't nice of much of an apology. Yeah. Then he comes back with another apology about. Hey man, I don't want no problems with you, big fella. We supposed to be peaceful, da da da. And then two minutes in, it goes to your career is dirt, your life is dirt. But peace be to Allah. And it's like, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Matt Barnes gets in there. Hey man, Kwame, man, we don't need to do this, man. You cry for help, you need attention. All week you have my dick, I mean my name in your mouth. Like, whoa, that's not like y'all apologies is a little different than most people's yeah. apologies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, y'all apologies be a little bit loaded. And so Kwame just don't stop. Yeah. Every One day. Thing I can show you Matt Barnes, nor Steven Jackson, nor many people on this planet got more than Kwame Brown is free time. Because that dude is just going <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> like, like Matt told him, like Matt told him, listen, you can bring your hookah with you. You can bring that front <laughs> seat that you always sitting in. I, listen, yeah. I heard that. I heard that. that I, I, in the I front seat of that car that, that you always in. When Matt said that, I was crying. <laughs> that was a good one. Yo, he go, oh, whatever it is, man. He going like <laughs> he talking about like who girls liked who. Like, yeah, I guess she liked my mama's cooking better. Like, yo, he like, yo, like, like he is really like, no, yeah, he going in, man. Like he is oh. like, I, I know about you. Like, don't make me really expose. Like, I know about you. Like, I like he really, I'm like, yo, this dude. See that that part I don't like. When he went to the specifics, I like to think that. 
me and Kenny, we've been through a lot of things together in a lot of places. If we fall out forever, whatever we saw together, that stays between us, period. Friends, not friends, or whatever. I, I don't feel like that type of stuff. Was well, they ever well, friends, no, though? Well, 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 listen, he wasn't, but listen, see, this is the see, this is where we different. If I'm not fucking bothering you, yeah, you can't tell me what level. Listen, yeah, if you keep if my you name punch out your mouth, me man. in the chest, yeah. you can't tell me I can't punch you in the mouth. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Tell, you you bothered me. A man over there minding his goddamn business. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no, the gloves is automatically off when you Keep just start with it. somebody. Keep me out you know of it. You know what I mean? That's all. That's his you point. That. So, you, yeah. So, therefore, you started with me, and I don't give from that from that instant on. I can do, I, have, I can handle it however I choose to. Hey, yeah, yeah they're talking about you paying That's for facts. women and all of that. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Listen, okay. uh, gloves off. Mm. Listen. Y'all mention me gloves off, man. Like, and I, and I, I get, I ain't no problem with it. Like, that's something I agree with, especially if, it, if I'm minding my own business and you ruffle my feathers. Yeah. Don't, don't start saying what the rules are. Now, there's no rules. The, the, the funny thing is, when this first started, he started his first video, all the stack and all the smokes fans was, was saying Kwame clout chasing. I'm like, Y'all don't know this man. This man Kwame, that's the exact opposite of Kwame. Like Kwame runs from attention. Before this started, Kwame's Instagram page had 3,000 followers because he don't post nothing. I, I've known Kwame for about four years. I asked him to come on my show. He said, I don't, I don't do interviews. You Google interviews with Kwame Brown, you ain't gonna find nothing. He don't talk, he chill. He look yeah. at it like I played. That was another lifetime ago. I'm here in Georgia, I'm minding my this. business. Yeah. Minding my business, staying out the way. So here I am minding my business. I got drafted 20 years ago. And you, and again, the, co the, the topic of the conversation wasn't what do you think of Kwame Brown? No, nah, he's yeah. talking about a trade and you just found a way to throw a barb at that man. And he said, you don't get to determine when the lion's going to snap. You know what I mean? If, if, like you don't get to determine that, like why he snapped that day. I don't know, yeah. but he did. And, yeah. and, and then after he did that, I'm like, everybody else, I knew exactly where it was coming from. You, you know what I mean? And if you, and if you listen to the words that he's saying, and he put the stories together. The word he keeps emphasizing is, I'm a man. I'm a yeah, man. Yeah. Tie that into, yo, y'all picked on me when I was a kid. I got into this league at 17. I had to deal with Mike shit. I can't say nothing to Mike. I can't say nothing to Oakley. They grown men. They picking on me. I'm a kid. Here I go 10 years later. I'm dealing with Kobe. They picking on me. He a legend. I can't say nothing. Cool. My whole career, I can't say nothing. Now I don't yeah. play the game. I don't yeah, have to buddy. fight my tongue. I'm a grown ass man. And y'all not just going to sit there and say whatever you want about me. Yeah. Not wrong yeah. with that. I'm not going to let y'all keep yeah. I'm not I'm not going to let y'all keep controlling the narrative about me. No, I'm not. And and, not and other black men and he's speaking up for other black men that they do it too too. He's not just speaking on himself. Like he's right. taking up for himself of course, but he's speaking on other black men. Like he's he looking like out for time. the next Kwame Brown. He looking yeah. out for that next seven. And the thing is Stephen A Smith, I think cuz while Stephen A Smith was a man at that time, I'm no, sure he was home rooting for saying boy. I think Stephen A should come out and just be like, yo, I was wrong. I, I, and if I had the opportunity to do that again, I wouldn't do that again. He's further in his career. What's wrong with saying that you were wrong? I grew. I didn't, I didn't, you know, you were, I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. Like Anthony Stephen Bennett is somewhere wrong. like, yeah, Kwame. He said him. Yeah. Bennett, <laughs> Anthony Bennett, Sam Bowie, they like, they somewhere like this. Yeah, Kwame, just call yeah, me. But, be ready to get on yeah, the Yeah, but front. they never... Yeah, but they never talk about the Andrea Bargnani's, the Nikita Skeetish Vili's, the the guys. What's the dude 11. they took in the draft with Melo and Brown? Before and Melo, I knew he was going to say went that. Darky, Darko, 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 you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't mention they don't get the, they don't get the same slander, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it be our own kind, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and that's his point. Like, it's be our own kind tearing us down. Like, y'all going to stop it. Like, like enough is enough. Like y'all out here picking on kids. Like, and that's MG point. Like, he's just like, yeah, I'm a grown ass man now. And